Hello friends welcome to the series on transformation of sentences in this video we will learn how to convert a compound sentence into a simple sentence first we will remember how a simple sentence is formed and how a compound sentence is formed then we will learn the steps to convert a compound sentence into a simple sentence finally we will understand it with examples and i will give you an exercise for practice so without further ado let's get started let's first remember what we have already learned regarding the formation of simple and compound sentences in our previous video first we learned how we form simple sentences a simple sentence has only one independent clause so it can have only one subject and one predicate however simple sentence can contain one idea or more than one idea the second idea could be formed with the help of infinitive participle or preposition then we learn the formation of compound sentences a compound sentence is made of more than one independent clause this independent clause are then joined with four ways number 1 coordinating conjunction number 2 correlative conjunction number 3 conjunctive adverbs and number 4 punctuations please watch the entire video after this video in case you need a revision links are in the description now let's learn how to convert a compound sentence into a simple sentence there are three steps to convert a compound sentence into a simple sentence number 1 identify the two independent clauses and the conjunction joining them number 2 identify the way to convert one of the clause into a participle infinitive or preposition now how to identify that you may use these ways of identification if and is used as a conjunction you can convert one of the clause into participle with the help of verbs ing form or having plus verbs third form if yet or but is used as a conjunction you can convert one of the clause into a preposition with the help of in spite of despite or notwithstanding if so or for is used as a conjunction you can convert one of the clause into a preposition with the help of owing to due to or for plus noun if or is used as a conjunction you can convert one of the clause into infinitive with the help of to plus verbs first form or to avoid plus verbs ing form if not only but also or and also is used as a conjunction you can convert one of the clauses into a preposition with the help of besides or in addition to plus verbs ing form please note that this table is just for reference purpose and not a strict rule it is developed based on the sentences that i have gone through so use it as per your understanding and as per the requirement of the sentence a pro tip for you the same table can also be used when a simple sentence is given to you and you are asked to convert it into a compound sentence so we have learned the step 2 Now let's look into the third step. Step three: convert one of the independent clause into a participle, infinitive, or prepositional phrase, and frame the simple sentence. The main thing to keep in mind is that the meaning of the simple sentence should be identical to the compound sentence. Let's look into an example to understand these steps. The boy saw a dog and he ran away. Step 1 is to identify the two independent clauses and the conjunction joining them. The first clause is the boy saw a dog and the second clause is he ran away. The conjunction is and. Step 2 identify the way to convert one of the clause into a participle, preposition or infinitive. From the table we can see that for conjunction and it is mentioned that participle could be used so we will use a participle for this conjunction 
Step number three is to convert one of the independent clause into a participle and frame a sentence. So the final sentence is seeing a dog, the boy ran away. Here, one of the clauses, the boy saw the dog is converted into present participle and a simple sentence is formed. If you notice closely, the meaning of both the sentences are identical. So this is a three step process that could be followed to solve this question. Now, from the table that we have learned previously, I will take the conjunctions and give you a couple of examples of them. Please note the steps are implied and I won't be explaining the steps again for the sake of time. Number 1. AND One of the clause needs to be converted to participle with the help of verbs ing form or having plus verbs third form. Example 1. The thief saw the police and he ran away. Converting it into a simple sentence, it becomes Seeing the police, the thief ran away. Here, verbs ing form is used to convert the sentence into a simple sentence. Example 2. He finished his exercise and put away his books. Converting it into a simple sentence, it becomes Having finished his exercise, he put away his books. Here, having plus verbs third form is used to convert a compound sentence into a simple sentence. Number 2. Yet or but One of the clauses needs to be converted to preposition with the help of in spite of or notwithstanding. Let's look into an example to understand it. He is very poor but he does not complain. Converting it into a simple sentence, it becomes In spite of him being poor, he doesn't complain. Here, in spite of is used to convert the compound sentence into a simple sentence. Number 3. So or for One of the clause needs to be converted to a preposition with the help of owing to, due to or for plus noun. Let's look into an example of it. He worked hard, so the boss praised him. One of the way to convert it into a simple sentence could be Due to his hard work, the boss praised him. Here we have used due to. Another way to convert it could be The boss praised him for his hard work. Here we have used for. Number 4. Or One of the clause could be converted into infinitive with the help of 2 plus verbs first form or 2 avoid plus verbs ing form. Let's look into example to understand it. We must eat or we cannot live. Converting this compound sentence into simple sentence, we can write we must eat to live. Here we have used 2 plus verbs first form. Example 2 He must run or he will lose. Converting it into simple sentence, it becomes He must run to avoid losing. Here we have used to avoid plus verbs ing form. Number 5. Not only but also or and also. One of the clause needs to be converted to a preposition with the help of besides or in addition to plus verbs ing form. For example, Ram not only plays football but also plays cricket. Or the same sentence could also come in this way. Ram plays football and he also plays cricket. Here, both these sentences are in compound form but comes with a different flavor. Converting it into a simple sentence with the help of in addition to plus verbs ing form, it becomes in addition to playing football, Ram plays cricket. We can also use besides here. So it becomes besides playing football, Ram plays cricket. Now, after looking into many examples, I hope you will be able to convert a compound sentence into a simple sentence. So let's have an exercise to test your knowledge. Here, you need to convert a compound sentence into a simple sentence. The sentences are number one, I watched this video and learned the transformation of sentences. Number two, she was awarded for she was beautiful. 
Number three, he was very upset, but he did not show. Pause the video, solve the exercise and message the answer in the comment. I have also added some of the hints to solve these answers. To view the answers, you may check the description of the video. That's all in this video. Let's quickly revise what we learned in this lesson. First, we learned the three-step formula to convert a compound sentence into a simple sentence. The steps are number one, identify the two independent clauses and the conjunction joining them. Number two, identify the way to convert one of the clauses into participle, preposition, or infinitive with the help of this table. Number three, convert one of the independent clause into a participle, preposition, or infinitive and frame a simple sentence. Next, we looked into an example to understand these steps. Then, we looked into more examples to understand the conversion properly. Finally, I gave you an exercise to practice. That's all in this video. We will be continuing this series. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, share, comment and subscribe in case you found the video helpful. All the best for your upcoming exams. We will meet in the next video. Till then, goodbye.